you gotta make it how you make it all right ain't that the truth well we're gonna do like a full-length interview at some point but um i appreciate you banging my wife oh my god wait what and uh <laughs> yeah what? I'm a professional, you know. I go and I knock it out. That's what I do. Oh, I, 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 absolutely! I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the the clips, and uh, yeah, I think you guys you put it down. I believe it was mainstream. You probably win an award. Oh, well, that's a big idea. My assistant did give me the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like oh. this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just left Pound Town. <laughs> I was gonna call it the wedding gift. Mm. <laughs> for the record it's not literally your wedding gift but it, it was something that we kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot right it just makes sense that's what everyone's <laughs> latching on to they just got married you know mm. so adam 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 so if y'all don't know who these three people are, um, the two people at the bottom, the white guy and the white lady, that's Adam22 and his new wife. They got married like last month. Well, I don't think it was actually a wedding gift, but the big guy at the top, the big black guy, he fucked her. Yeah, he fucked her. She does OnlyFans. And um, usually her OnlyFans videos was where her, her and her new husband, Adam. They had a podcast. They brought girls on there. They interviewed them. Then the both of them double teamed the girls. Well, it was only a matter of time before she got some big black, you know, and she did. I ain't gonna lie. This interview was so awkward. And now I got to see the whole thing because this clip was awkward as hell. And now I got to see the whole thing. A few of y'all been asking me that, I guess, drop my opinion on this. Um, I... Some of y'all just need to control y'all freaky ass thoughts, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not... Me personally, I can't have no other man fuck my wife. Like that's that's just me. But I do have friends who are into uh, swinging, and they do this type of things. Me personally, I can't do it. I just wouldn't be able to look at her the same. Yeah. I was wondering if you could jerk me. Would you say? If you could jerk me. Um, I mean, we can see the two working with me. So it was a turkey. <laughs> no, I think it's that way. <laughs> hey, y'all boys gonna stop playing, man. You trying to catch a case. Walking up to random ass women asking them if they could jerk you. The internet is not a real place. Ladies, if a man's liking other photos or following other hoes, do you know what the right thing to do is? Mind your f***ing business, bro. Like, that ass, go get a hobby. Go learn how to knit or go learn how to do lashes. Like, make some fucking bread because right now what you're doing is looking crazy. She said make some bread. And you're making this feel more important than she really is. Right now, she's just some bitch on the gram. You probably like that shit by accident. Oh, but now, now he really is going to go f*** her. And it's like, why do you have to take a man's manhood away to feel like he loves you and fellas if a ever tells you to go on go on follow that bitch or like those photos don't do it she's gonna ask you to keep doing it again and again because she already has no respect for you the minute you do it she's gonna say oh i got him in check F out of here you're better off cheating on her to be completely honest with you i'm not gonna lie I, from the way she started i wasn't expecting that um do y'all think liking photos on Instagram is cheating? The one thing I can say about Instagram is that Instagram gives people access to your woman. And I'm speak I'm speaking from a man's point of view. Instagram give men 
access to your woman. You feel me? Like, I've seen some of the DMs that some of these dudes be sending my wife. And, yeah, it's crazy. You feel me? It's, it's crazy. Your grandfather and your grandmother didn't have to go through this back then. Alright? It's dudes that... <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to tell you. So, my wife is one of them earthy females, bro. Like, she'll walk on the grass bare feet. She's one of them type of women, right? And she posts, like, uplifting things on her Instagram. So, it be dudes... That are like comment on her stories and be um grand rising queen. Um <laughs> your posts have given me life. <laughs> hey bro. And then I'll be looking I ain't gonna lie, I'll be going to these pages and I'll be like, bro, I know you don't speak like that. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dog. Oh yeah. Um Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. So I will say this though, uh shoot. My wife caught a video the other day on my Instagram. Hey, some of y'all some of y'all man, I I appreciate you for liking my videos and liking my channel and you know sharing all this with me. But like don't send me no wild shit on Instagram. This chick sent me a, a video the other day. Actually, yo, she sent that shit last. She sent that shit like five or six months ago. I never saw it. Because, you know, like, certain stuff goes into the general and certain stuff goes into... Excuse me. I don't know. I forgot where it goes into. But anyway, a chick sent me a video of... She basically sent me, like, her sex tape. She sent me a video of her playing with herself. And then she sent me another video of her, like, getting And she, previous to that, she had sent me, like, four messages. I didn't respond to none of the messages. So she was like, yo, why are you ignoring me? Don't ignore me. You feel me? I'm thinking it's a fake page, bro. It's a real page. Real females, huh? So I'm like, all right. The other day, my wife going through my Instagram. And she's like, what's this? I'm like, what you talking about? She's like, what's this? Who's this? Is this you? I'm like, no. She's like, so who's this girl? Who's this young lady? I'm like, I have no idea. So I don't even know what she was talking about at first. So then she finally showed me the video. And I'm looking and I'm like, oh, this bitch trying to get me f***ed up. So if you, sus you, you subscribe to the channel, you know what you did. You know what you did, son. Huh? That's crazy, though. <laughs> Almost got wrapped up, boy. Yeah, so Instagram is very dangerous for your relationship. From the thumbnail, I wasn't expecting that. So she has one arm, and she was trying to um, work out, and I guess the weights were too heavy for her prosthetic, and it came off. Now, before I go any, any further, I want to say shout out to you, sis, for not letting your disability hold you back and still being out there getting it in. On the flip side, did y'all see the dude walk by? The gym culture is so toxic that he didn't even rush over there to help her. He walked by. Just think about that now. He walked by. He, he didn't rush over there. Are you okay? He just walked by. He had to think twice about going to help her. 34 when you're 35 and you're still like, yeah, I don't know what I want. I'm like, dude, you're like old. The amount of times that I've seen this come up on my For You page where girls cannot fathom the idea of why a man in his mid-30s might possibly be afraid of commitment even when he's in his mid-30s. It blows my mind, because you think it's a pretty simple explanation. But it really goes to show the ignorance of how the average girl doesn't really understand the average male experience in his early 20s. So I'm going to help you guys understand, so hopefully you guys can stop asking this question and shaming guys who want to be single in their mid-30s just because you're single in your 30s. 
So the average guy 18 through like 26 is going to be broke and pretty much not really have that much access to meeting women. Typically, once a man starts being a little bit more financially stable is when he's going to have the most access to women because he's able to go out on dates more. He's able to just go out more in general to meet more women. So normally, a man becomes financially stable around their late 20s to mid 30s. And a lot of men did not get to experience a lot of fun things in their early 20s like women do. A pretty girl who has no money is going to have offers to do a lot of cool stuff for pretty much no money when they're 18 through like 25. And then around 28 to 30 is when a girl is going to start looking for a serious commitment. But a man just started doing well and he's able to travel. He's able to go out on dates. He's able to go out to nightclubs and actually get attention for the first time in his life. And that's the average male experience. So when a man is 32, even though that might be the time for you that you're looking for a stable relationship, for him, this is all new and this is all exciting and he's finally getting the attention he feels like he deserves. So he's not going to commit unless you're really, really worth it because why would he give up all this freedom? It's his first time ever experiencing this. But this is just a common tactic I see girls do where they try to shame guys for being single when they're in their mid-30s or even later. Like they're also not single and also in their mid-30s. But the reality is they don't want a relationship. It's not even that they're scared of commitment. It's that they know they don't want that responsibility of having a girlfriend when they want to go and experience life the same way you did when you were in your 18 through 25s. Girls will just use this as a shaming technique to make it seem like a man in his 30s is somehow behind because his obligation is to be married and have kids around that time. But the reality is men don't have a biological clock the same way that a woman does on the expiration when they could have children or start a family. And pointing out that a man is single in his mid-30s like the girl is also not single in her mid-30s, the only difference is the man's doing it out of choice. So just because you've experienced everything that you needed to in your early 20s doesn't mean that a man in his late 30s who never got that experience is all of a sudden behind for not wanting that. And it's a lot of responsibility being in a relationship, and not every man wants to have that responsibility if he still wants to travel and do things. And that's why some guys might be a little hesitant about a relationship. The stuff he's saying is true. Like, a woman can be broke, but if she's attractive, she has more opportunities to mingle with the opposite sex. Whereas a guy who is broke and still trying to get himself established doesn't have that he doesn't have that he doesn't have that that um opportunity because at the end of the day you need money to go on dates you need money to to court women unfortunately that's that's just what it is you need money to court women in a, in your early 20s you don't have that and when you finally have that Why would you want to just get tied down? <laughs> Why would you want to get tied down? Oh. <laughs> Bring that helper down. No, she's going to fall. Yeah, man, you so weak. Get yeah. her. Yeah. 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 Yo, why, why are y'all so loud? Jesus Christ. And where the hell he found a turtle from? Yo, oh, 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 oh. 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 But fuck it, it's not a human being. <laughs> but still, look at it, messed up her show right here. Right. But they kicked her. What are we naming him, sis? Tasha. <laughs> she said Tasha. Hey, man. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. 